There can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. I won't last long at this rate. Just what the medicine ma What can I tell you? Mostly it's the mountain bighorners. Whole herd of them up on the cliffs there. Usually they're not too aggressive, but lately... Whew, my guess is one of the calves got lost somewhere along the way. Bighorners are communal. One missing calf, and the whole herd gets ornery. If that calf doesn't turn up soon... They might very well come down into the valley and attack the camp. Yeah? Hey, thanks. Most of the hunters don't listen when I tell them the problem. Just one thing. Try not to kill any bighorners if you can, yeah? You'll drive the herd off and we'll have to range farther on our hunts. Hmm. You might try luring the baby out with some banana yucca. These bighorners go crazy for the stuff. That's great. I'll help any way I can. What can I tell you? More... Best place to look for back when stuff is the taboo places. Sorrows and dead horses don't go in there. And even white legs don't like them much. Lots of them around the valley. Places built by the folk from back when. You'll know them when you see them. Scouts mark them with handprints. The handprints are a warning to keep out. Angry ghosts live inside. Not that I believe in angry ghosts. They're just spooky old places. Right? Lots of back when places to choose from. But for the things we need... Best to start with the really closed up places. Three I know of. A building down by the river called a fishing lodge. The old ranger station in the northwest. And the general store right by it. Closer to home might be something you can salvage from the place where the little ones fell. Just west of the eastern virgin. In the river, there's a twisted pile of metal and glass. All full of bones. Joshua says they were scouts, but they looked awful small to me. Lots of that old stuff, uh, how do you say it, uh, electronics. Maybe you could use some of it. Ask away. He's been the chief of our tribe since he came back to the valley. He went off to the civilized world years ago to fight a war. That didn't go well. Well, before he left, he didn't have those bandages all over his face. That tell you something? I don't know. He doesn't talk about it much. Maybe. But how can two civilized tribes fight over something as small as a dam? <laughs> now, you sound like Joshua. He always tells me that tribal life is better. That I should stay here and forget the outside world. White legs. Nasty bunch. They've been raiding deeper into Zion ever since New Canaan was wiped out. That's the weird part. Normally, the White Legs keep to the Great Salt Lake. I don't know what brought them down this far south. What can I tell you? Well, because they're our enemies. What else would we do? They take our land, they kill our scouts, they poach our hunting grounds. 
Our advanced scouts leave chalk signs to mark places rich with game. I'm not a full scout yet, so I follow the marks and guide the hunters. Dead horses mark ourselves to commemorate our hunts. When a hunter takes a great beast, or when a youth goes on his first hunt, he gets a tattoo. We came up in the land of the dead horse, though why the back when folks called it that, I got no hint. We raided, we fought, we lost. Our enemies drove us back into Zion, and we would have died if it hadn't been for Joshua. Joshua and his Kaisar. When Joshua first came to us, he was servant to a man he called Kaisar. He led his master's armies, and we were ready to follow him into war. Then he lost his master's army to a tribe called Ensiar, the Sunset People. When he returned, he was as you saw him, burned, broken, but changed. He led us away from Kaisar, led us to our own destiny in Zion. If it wasn't for Joshua, the dead horses would still be the whipping boys of the Zion Valley. He taught us how to hold our territory, to protect ourselves. He guided us away from Kaisar, and showed us how Kaisar would have destroyed us. Little bit. I met some of their missionaries a few times, but I've never been to their city. Joshua could tell you more. Or Daniel, I imagine. We decorate our clubs with them to honor Joshua Graham. They were the weapons of his old tribe, so now they are ours. Can't say they seem that dangerous to me, but Joshua says they won the West. Only a little. I was very young. He was different. Prouder, yes, but harder, crueler. More driven. Really, I was terrified of him. We all were. When he came back, I almost didn't believe he was the same man. He was humbler. He wanted to protect, not destroy. Go with... So I finally get to explore all those taboo places without the others without yelling at me. Can't.
So I finally get to explore all those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me? Can't wait. Why do you carry all those bottle caps anyway? They jangle like crazy. works though. 